All right, well, how long does it take you to eat a chicken wing? A minute, a couple seconds. World record is three seconds. Wonder how Cam and I stack up? <laughs> oh boy. This I wonder is... why I saw some chicken wings. I was about to say, it smells good here in yeah, the studio. It does. And it is true. Check this out. Bros may be bros, but we love to shop too. Okay. Well, I like to shop yeah. if I sure. know what I'm getting. Like, right. I'm not one of those people that likes to peruse. Well, we're talking oh. sweet insider deals and shopping tips during this Labor Day season. Mary Hoover from Mission to Save is back with some shopping know-how you're gonna to wanna to stick around for them. And they built it and people came, thousands of people paid a visit to Dyersville, Iowa to honor the 30th anniversary of the classic baseball movie, Field of Dreams. You're watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. All right, welcome to the nine o'clock hour of Good Day Columbus. We are so glad you are joining us on this holiday, Labor Day. Yeah. Phil, Cam here with you this morning, the Bro Show. Last time we had the Bro Show, we kind of went a little nuts. I know, we did. We had uh, very casual clothing, Yeah. pizza boxes everywhere. Ever. We had a foreman gro <laughs> grilling up here. Right. And we did some uh, maintenance. Yes, which we Which I've been letting my nose hair grow because I, I knew know. we were doing this for Me like too. the Me too, I've stopped myself from just right. going. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes exactly. you got. But we're sometimes not. Don't worry. You have to. Yeah, don't worry. We're not waxing our nose hairs today. Oddly we're enough, not. though, yeah. it's one of our highest viewed videos <laughs> yes. online. You know what? You should repost it or something, because in case people haven't seen it, oh my I, God. I do remember doing that and thinking, "What are we doing?" I know. And it's uh, like a. It, but it's like I a, loved it afterwards. I felt it like felt great. I got air. Yes. I can breathe. I again. think it's like a car crash. You know what I mean? Like people right. drive by and they can't right. help but look. So you see the video online. You're like, "Let me watch this." I hate it, but I. But I have to watch it. Listen. The other thing is, people always have comments, and people are like, well, you shouldn't rip the hair out of your nose because you're going <laughs> to get a cold. Everyone's a doctor. Yeah. Right. And I, I was like, great. yeah, but I, you know. I didn't get sick till months later, so I, I, think, I don't I think I've been sick since. There you go. It's actually protected me. Yeah, so, so. you know, we're more sophisticated today. We're not the uh, boy show anymore. No. Nope. We're kind of the bro show slash yep. man show. I know you've been working What are these morning. things? So these, yeah. you know, Sean knows about these. These are Funko Pops. Yeah. It's my kinda, I see them on your desk yeah, upstairs. Yeah, so this is my newest collection. You know, to me, this is sophisticated bro show What set. are they from? Is it so from this a is cartoon? So this is from The Office. You well, I mean, I, I, I do recognize some of these characters. Yeah, so this, we'll go we got zoom Kevin with Chili. We got Prison Mike, and then over there we have <laughs> Jim. Whoops. Dwight's dressed hiding as Dwight. my. Uh, yeah, oh, that's Jim dressed as, Dw yes. as Dwight. Yes, that's a limited exclusive Funko Pop. So it, it needed something. I brought my guitar, my skateboard. They said, you know what? You already did that. You're right. in suits. Let's make it a little bit more adult. But is it from something, or is it kind of like a Cabbage Patch Kids? It's just it's what a, they are. It's just what they are. It's There's a no series. TV show associated with it. Or no, anything? so Funko Pop is like the company that makes the characters for any type of show or okay. movie that's out there. All right. And I say we're going to be sophisticated. I got my pineapple sauce. Fantastic information. It went in one ear and out the other. <laughs> I can only hold so much information in your brain. Do you ever do that? I mean, yeah. you're thinking, I can't remember what I had for dinner last night, but and I'll the, remember some stupid thing I said to some kid in sixth grade. You're like, I still know the Pythagorean theorem that I've never used in my life. There a squared plus B squared is equal C squared. Very nice. What is it? I it's don't know. Listen, it's going to be great when uh, Chanel starts school. I know. I do love math. That's going to be yeah. fun. Well, yeah. speaking of Chanel, it was a very uh, cool weekend. My dad has never met Chanel. Really? Uh, just because my mom always flown out. They had right. animals taking care of my grandma. Okay. And he surprised and came into town this weekend. So Chanel uh -huh. met. Uh -huh. My dad's name is Reno, and instantly she calls him Papa Eno. <laughs> so they, this is them meeting for the very first time, and they just had Ugh. an absolute blast. Just she loves him. He's staying at her house right now. He goes back to Indiana today. Uh, but yeah, so it was a really cool moment for our daughter this more or this weekend. And it's and so important that you know if they're able to that you know kids have that relationship yeah. with their grandparents. Mm -hmm. I really think of that because all mine are gone now, and I think about I was lucky enough that my yeah. parents that, that they were around when I was growing up, and my parents thought it was important enough for me to have yep. a uh, relationship with them because it's really nothing like you know yeah. your grandparents. It was great for him because he just got done with a six-hour drive, and she's yeah. playing with him and Kate, and they're like, "Good night, Dad. Yep. Take yeah, care of the baby." <laughs> spoil Chanel. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, uh, there you go. So here's a question. You know, it's labor day hope you're relaxing at home but what are you doing this morning joe sam is live in upper arlington for the labor day arts festival yes good morning joe how are things looking out there this morning 
Good morning, Phil Cam. It's looking really good. So it kicks off at 10 o'clock. It's already starting to pick up steam. So a lot of the vendors are out here already. Over 140 different vendors are going to be here ready to showcase their artwork. There's sculpture art, there's wood art, there's even balloon art that you can come and see here today and take the kids out. Have a good time because there's going to be entertainment. The U8 HS marching band is going to be kicking off the show at 10 o'clock for the entertainment, but there's going to be other national and local performers that are going to be going on stage all the way until 3:30 this afternoon. So there's plenty to do here at Northern Park for the Labor Day Arts Festival celebrating their 53rd year. Go ahead and send things back to you guys in the studio for now as I go and check out what other cool things we can get into like balloon artistry. Yeah, fascinates me. Does it like I just yeah. watch them and I could watch for two. They hours. can make whatever. Do they have YouTube videos where? <laughs> of course they do. Can I, they have YouTube <laughs> videos on everything. everything? Tying your shoes, I'm opening like, up a box. Come over to my house. That's all we watch. That's now. gonna That's be my new thing when I go to bed. I'm just gonna watch balloon animals being made while I'm in bed. Just and my wife's gonna be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, here's some good news for Poor all Katie. you drive-through loving bros or ladies. A new study says that not all fast food is necessarily bad for you. It can be made healthier if you make some changes. Yes, those yeah. changes uh, from the study from the American Journal of Preventative Medicine confirms what we already know, that fast food in general, eh, you know, not that great for you. But yeah. researchers looked at 34 fast food chains. Finding an average combo meal containing almost 1,200 calories. Dang. And of course, a ton of sodium, saturated fats, and sugar. But the Harvard researchers also say you can hold off on things like special sauces. You can take off the cheese and toppings and go for water mm. instead of soda. You'll be way better off. Researchers say the key is customer modification of the offerings and making those changes, mm -hmm. adjusting the nutrient profile of a meal. That's what people are thinking about when they want <laughs> when food in to, 10 seconds. I hear you. I mean, I, I, that, that makes sense, you know. Yeah, I do. You know, I do it. If, I, if I'm really in the mood for like a Burger King burger, right. that char grilled, and I'm desperate, yeah. I need to yeah, go, yeah. I go like no bun. I say, can you guys okay. wrap it in lettuce? That right. way, you know, you're losing the carbs of the bun. And they do that now. Yeah. They're really good they're about it. They're used to that. I mean, yeah. five, six years ago, they're like, what? What and do you mean? But now used, they're used to that. And like chill, to me, like a Wendy's chili yeah. is going to be decent for you right. versus like a four by four with fries with and a fries, large drink. With fries, anything fried. Yeah, all in moderation. Totally agree. Yeah, well, while Now I'm hungry. I know. Speaking of being hungry, you ready to fasten your eat belt? <laughs> I'm, I'm just ready to try to get my jacket <laughs> yeah. together. All right. So while we're on the topic of eating, one of the biggest competitive eating contests in the country went down yesterday. It was the U.S. Chicken Wing Eating Championship, held appropriately <laughs> enough in Buffalo, New you York. You like the competitive eating, oh, don't I you? I love competitive eating. All right. Well, uh, notorious competitive eating star Joey Chestnut, he was there. As always, he was the man to mm -hmm. beat. But in the end, he was actually topped by his rival, Jeffrey Esper. No. So Chestnut downed, can you believe this, 276 oh, wings no in just 12 minutes. Unfortunately, Esper put down 281. If you're keeping track at home, that's more than 23 wings a minute or about one wing every three seconds. It is all part of the National Chicken Wing Festival, now in its 18th year, being held in Buffalo, New York. Throughout its history, the event has drawn more than 800,000 people and served nearly 5 million wings. Yeah. I want to see the wing after because there's always some at the top and bottom. Yeah. They're just rolling through the middle. Like, do they judge the wings? Because I like to get a clean wing. Me too. I like to, oh, look like at this. nothing left. Oh, very sure nice. Sure enough, Thank we're you. talking wings. Of course, oh. you, know, you know, it's a sophisticated oh, really? man show. So we have a. Um, Brooke, you put silverware down. We eating it with a knife oh, and fork? Oh, there you. we go. Thank you, Jack. Thank you guys. So okay. we got some wings right here. Oh, now, well, here's you. what we're going to do, okay? So I'm just going to take a bite okay. and just get a little bit of the flavor. Are you going super Are you really going to cook? That's good. Okay. <laughs> this is like when George Costanza would eat with a, a, the, his Snickers with a <laughs> yes. fork and knife. Oh, these are boneless. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. That so take, take, take a little taste film. Okay. You know, with a fork and knife. Yep, yep. That's what I'm going to so do because we're that. a little sophisticated. 23 okay. wings in a minute. Listen, I can't really, I can go through 12 on a good day. I held, it wasn't the amount of wings, but it was the spiciness. I held the Blazing Wings Challenge record for like six months in Canal. Did you? I did it in like 2.30. Like the Blazing Hot. And then somebody came and And then you? someone came and got like two minutes. Now it sounds like a minute 30. Oh. They just get, it's like steroid. They get faster and faster. But if you break that down, what they won with, it's one wing every three seconds. 
Okay. Okay, you got that? Right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna see, you left a wing right there. Yep. If you can eat that wing in three seconds. This big one? Yeah. Okay. And it's boneless, so that to me is an advantage. It is, because you're not All right, with the you ready? Yep. Here's the clock. You All can right. have it in your hand ready to eat. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Three seconds, Phil, three seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Stop. How far did you get? About half long. <laughs> About okay. halfway. Okay, so that, that, that's a slow strategy. And I think these might, can you imagine though? Because they have to clean the bones. So I wonder if they're going like, you know, if they're so, <laughs> sorry, yeah. for this, sorry for the sound effect, bro. <laughs> Just giggling back there. All right, let me try to eat this in three seconds. Yeah, you're gonna have to do everything because now my hands are messy, my mouth is full, I can't I can even talk. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. This isn't gonna be pretty. Don't go, please don't go tight. Stay right there. <laughs> yes, I know you guys. Ready? <laughs> three, this is a big they one. better go Two, tight. Two, one. Yep. One, one thousand, two. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. No way. I can't even swallow it. Right, that's what I mean. How are they doing that? That was three seconds. Mm. And then they, but they kept doing it for 200 and some, 276 and 281. Who has a really good wing challenge locally what, is what? Hollywood Casino. They didn't really? pay me to say this. We tried to do it one morning and their wings, no joke, Huge. are like that big. In 30 minutes, I only got through like 40. That's still a lot, Cam. Not compared know. to, you know, not compared to yeah, them. Yeah, I know, not compared to and them. And you're supposed to get through all of them and right. they give you like 100. And mm -mm, wasn't even close. Mm. Wow. I was good this morning. Well, thank, just thank you for making those wings. Now we have heartburn <laughs> and upset stomach the rest of the day. Can we get Pepsi AC? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a shot of Pepto. <laughs> that would help. There me. you go. Hey, that. so here's a question. What was the yeah. first state in the U.S. to make Labor Day an official holiday? I have no idea. Uh, California. Home of the Ducks. Oregon? Oregon. That's Oregon. not the only fun Labor Day fact we've got for you. We got some Labor Day trivia. Oh, that's what everyone wants to do on their day off. We're setting it up with that great fact. I can't <laughs> wait to come back and that's hear what, what other ones we have. Keys. Much more straight ahead after the break. If you don't come back after that fact. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my job. Oregon! Who knew? What are you about to say? Uh, I was gonna say I'm glad you're in here today because in all honesty, I'm a little tired But oh, it's like it is it's four o'clock on a Friday, and I got a long weekend I'm I'm, I'm taking vacation after this and I'll Where be gone going? for like two weeks Well, I don't want to say I don't want people like rob my house. Are you I'm not, to see, like, it's a staycation. Hey like that <laughs> you're going out of town <laughs> eventually <but laughs> <laughs> you, it's, Do people actually do that like I don't care well, rob your house. Yes. <laughs> I don't have to watch me going, I'm going to get yeah. this guy real Now they're going to be like, oh, yeah, when are you leaving? What time? Flight what? Okay. This no, but good. I'm going to be, so, but it's been, you know, I worked all weekend and tracking, right. and it's been, you know, intense kind of tracking that hurricane, yeah. and I've stayed up a little late, been watching football games. Yeah. So I'm a little tired, but anytime you're around, it's like zzz, energy. So thank you for coming in. I appreciate Bro it. Bro show. Well, it is Labor Day, which means we only have 21 days left of summer, mm. and summer break is officially over. That's right. So mm. what's behind Labor Day, and how did it, er it's, it earn its place as a federal holiday? Well, if you enjoy weekends off work and lunch breaks, paid vacation, an eight-hour workday, Social Security, you have labor unions to thank for it. Yep, years of hard-fought battles and the ensuing legislation that they inspired resulted in many of the most basic benefits that we enjoy at our jobs today. So on the first Monday in December, not December, September, <laughs> it's already, this year's flying by. It is, but we you're really pushing it. Yeah, <laughs> we take the day off to celebrate Labor Day and reflect on the American workers' contributions to our country. Absolutely. So. Uh, and I want to thank our company because we get, you know, and if you do work, yeah. you get paid a lot more. It's like 9.5 times pay. No, I'm kidding. Well, I it's wish. Much. But it's good well, holiday pay. Yeah, so, they, you know, when people ask you, who wants to work holiday? I'm like, me. I know. I'll it's work. not that bad, especially in the morning. You know, we're used to the morning. So then we right. still got the rest of the day. No we take deal. a quick power nap. Which you know is exactly what I'm going to do. I, I will power go Power nap and then... Enjoy the rest of the day. How are you going to spend the rest of your day? You got to. You're going to be barbecuing. You know, we'll cooking probably out. go what are you weather depending to the Canal Winchester Labor Day Festival. That's going on today too. Oh, Joe was at the Upper Arlington. Yeah, right? he's. Yeah, that's so a little bit of a drive of for us. Going on. Yeah, they got lots of stuff. Yeah. Hey, what else? You know what? I well, I shouldn't say it because it just came off the top of my head. Was it Swappers Day up near Johnstown? Is that Labor Day What's weekend? That? 
Of course, I'm going to say this out loud. When we get it? 500 in, uh, Facebook men. It was a big, like big flea market kind of thing up near Johnstown. How's I that? I thought bad? it was Labor Day, but it might be Memorial Day. Oh, but I think it was Labor Day. It's not bad. No, I would say it's a good thing to go to. There's I that place on the to way it. to the Ohio Renaissance Festival, Caesar's something. It's yeah. like one of the biggest swap meets. I always wanted. Katie loves swap meets. She could go there and barter and work oh, her way she, up. Oh, is she good at that? She loves it. She could work from a <laughs> stick of gum to a car eventually. <laughs> Just work her way up. <laughs> well, you know, I need her to go negotiate my next yeah. car lease. A lot of things to do on Labor Day, but here's what people told National today what their plans were. Nearly 70% said they plan on firing up the grill for a little barbecue action. A little over 35 said they want to watch a movie. Another 35% said they really just want to enjoy some quiet time. I mean, that's nice, right? You don't get time to just sit around a lot of times. About 27% said they would like to spend some time outdoors or attend a party. Yeah, that's a lot of work. And yeah. less than a quarter said they want to spend the holiday shopping. I talked about that earlier, a lot of online deals today. I'm completely opposite of you. You said you like to go and know exactly. I love to go and peruse. Oh, and I can't. See, I need to. Any kind of thing we're going to buy, you know, if we're going to buy a TV, uh, a microwave, a washer dryer, something like that, I'm researching it but for see, weeks do, ahead of I time. But see, I'm right there. I do that beforehand. There I will go. not step inside the store without, without knowing. knowing exactly which one. After It took me four weeks to find my TV. Yeah. Looking <laughs> online, checking reviews and everything. And yeah. All right. So that's what we do. That's so, what you got to do. When it comes to food, here's what people said they plan on eating on Labor Day. About half of Americans are looking forward to a burger, maybe even a hot dog. What is this rainbow? I'm trying to read there. Okay. Oh, I see. It's representative of. I'm sitting a little too Yellow is the barbecue from. chicken. Okay. The other steak half will be chowing down on blue. either some barbecue chicken, maybe a steak if you are fancy, or some ribs. That all sounds pretty good. Yeah. Or wings, like we had. Yeah. Wings sound good, or pizza. Anything I'm, not, just... I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, turning my nose up at any of it. Yeah. All right, Cam, yeah. bro to bro, mm -hmm. what do you think is the secret to grilling the perfect burger? So one person I watch on YouTube is Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you and your... <laughs> and I kind of ruined this story, but my secret, yeah. and he says, never put it on a grill. What? Always make a burger in a pan. Really? He inside? Says so it, inside, so it doesn't break up. He said, that's how the best do it, so... Here are some grilling tips from the food pros at Delish. Wow. If you want. Yeah, that's what he says. He no. says don't put it on a grill. I'm not coming to your house. I'm sorry. All right. So they, they teamed up with New York Post to answer all of your burning barbecue questions. Yes. For starters, make sure that your grill is nice and hot. Set the grill on high and let it warm up while you brush oil on both the patties mm -hmm. and the grates of the grills so that it doesn't stick. When the grill is warmed up, the amount of time it takes to cook your perfect burger, of course, depends on how you like to eat it. Medium or medium rare. I'm right with yep. you. Experts recommend seven minutes per side for a well-done patty, six for medium well, five for medium, four for medium rare, and just three per side for rare, or you just don't cook it. And finally, <laughs> a pro tip. I don't think that's healthy. From yeah. Chef Graham Elliott, who says his trick is adding mm -hmm. an ice cube inside the uncooked burger. The ice, Elliot says, keeps the patty juicy while it cooks. Well, yeah. I imagine it keeps it from overcooking because you're keeping that temperature in the middle down. And Gordon Ramsay said on like a pan, yeah. squirt some water on it and then put the little lid on top and that helps with the moisture on the inside. Do you have a grill at all? Do you grill we do. anything outside? Yeah, like brats, brats and corn and pineapple. But, but no burger, huh? Not burger. Katie right. does most of it. She can make an incredible burger. I'm coming over. That's all, all right. right. Yep. Kurt Ludlow here now with a check of the morning headlines. Good morning, Kurt. All right. Good morning, guys. Guys, back to you. All right. One, real quickly, Anna yeah. told me the Johnstown sweep, uh, the sw swap, swap meet, meet was the past week, this past you weekend. So I think it was, so. you know, Saturday, Sunday. I missed it. You're an evil just man. Just missed it. Coming up, more than 25,000 visitors participate in interactive performances and activities with art from more than 200 vendors. So what is it? It's the Upper Arlington Labor Day Arts Festival. Joe Sam shows it to us live after the break. So it is the bro show today, but bros love to shop too. Yes, Mary Hoover from missiontosave.com is here with some secret money saving tips from some of your favorite stores. Good morning. Good we're morning. Talking insider tips. Yes, these oh. are like insider tips, like you're gonna learn the best from Mission to Save this Great. morning. Yes. Love it. So, so we're gonna start, start at the Dollar Tree. Okay. And you think the Dollar Tree, everything's yeah, already a dollar. Right. Isn't How that cheap enough, right? right? But the Dollar Tree actually takes manufacturers' coupons. 
So really? your newspaper coupon or a printable coupon. So if you find Colgate toothpaste or Dial hand soap right. or uh, Super Pretzels yeah. or something like that that have a coupon, then you can use it on top of it, and then you the pr item ends up being fifty cents. So if or it's something like Colgate like buy one get one free toothpaste, you can use it there. Yes, oh, you that's can. That's awesome. As long idea. as it's a um, coupon from a uh, newspaper or like right. a printable coupon. Sometimes the printable coupons don't work, right. uh, but you can always try. Yeah. You also need to make sure that you're watching the size of the item. Sometimes right. the Dollar Tree sizing is a little smaller, mm. so you just have to read the fine print on the coupon. But you can use coupons it only at gets the Dollar so Tree. Never even thought of that. Yeah. Right. Cool. The next one is Big Lots. All right. So mm -hmm. Big Lots, uh, for about four times a year, has something called the Friends and Family event, and so it's 20% off all weekend long. Um, and on the first day, it's for their rewards members, which is free to join. So everybody right. should oh, okay. join. Everybody. Yeah. Right. And so you can go in and use your card and you. You get 20% off and then on the second day there's a coupon that you can print to use it but the great thing about that obviously Big Lots prices yeah. are low to begin with but it also works on their clearance items and their furniture and mattresses oh. so I often um, we've bought several mattresses from there during their friends and family weekend because right. you get that extra 20% off do you happen to know well. when the next one up? I don't you know? I okay. have a feeling it's coming soon do they kind of surprise people it's but, a little bit that okay. way but if you join the rewards club they you'll get a uh, email to let you know that it's coming, um, but it's about lots. four uh, times a year. Nice. Okay, so this is the one everyone loves Target. at Target. Yes, yes. at Target. <laughs> so what you need to do yeah. is turn off your location settings in your phone, okay. because when you go into Target, then you can open the Target app and search for whatever item you're looking for, and if the price is lower, then you can price match it. And the reason why you need to turn off that location services is because uh, if it's on, it knows you're in the store and so it's going to give you the store price oh. but if you turn it off you're saying on target.com so it, it's in your website. app okay it's got in it. your app so if you go into the target app got it and you search let's say you're doing like patio furniture right. or something like that um, if you're in store it might still be full price but online they right. might have it marked down and then they will price match how sneaky I love <laughs> yes. that tip. oh that's as soon as our I favorite. go in everybody's going in now today turn it <laughs> yes. off yes okay Kohl's yep we love Kohl's cash Right. We're oh, frequent yeah. shoppers there. Yes. But I always uh, end up with Kohl's cash and I'm like, oh no, it's a week yeah. ago. Yes, but guess what? You can still use it. They give you a little bit of grace period. What? About five days, sometimes Are you for real? even up to seven days. I never Yes. Knew I've gone in the day after with it in my hand and just throwing it away. Right. Don't like, throw it away. away. Now, some stores may be a little particular about oh, yeah, that. I read at the cashier. So like, you just you have doing? to know. That sometimes uh, cashiers yeah. honestly don't know that they can do it. Okay. So just ask them to to put it through and see if it works. You can't do it online, okay. so okay. it has to be in the store, but there's a little bit of a grace period. Another thing with Kohl's Cash is if you're in a Kohl's Cash period and let's say you only spent $25, right. if it's like two days later and you realize, oh, I need something else, and it's $25, you can ask them to combine those two to make your $50 and you'll get your Kohl's Cash. Oh. So combine your receipts within the same period and you'll be able to get oh, your... Oh, there's a reason you're the best at this. These are some <laughs> great ideas. Today. No, we're going to go we're straight shopping. to Kohl's yes, from here. Yes, Okay, the last one, I, I got your taste buds going. Yes. On Chick-fil-A, oh. if you are loyal to the original chicken yeah. sandwich, yes, right? Yes, okay. absolutely. Um, then you have to get their app. It's called Chick-fil-A One. And every time you go in, scan it because it's a, re a rewards program. It's a okay. loyalty program. And so it will earn you free food oh, at nice. Chick-fil-A. So people say it's too expensive, whatever. Uh, but it's not if you're using this. And every once in a while, your favorite store will send you what they call a treat, a surprise and delight treat. Mm. And so you open your app and you're like, oh, I get free chicken minis today just uh, because. Yes, so, right. um, so definitely if you love Chick-fil-A, yeah. right. get that app because it's going to be a way to earn some extra rewards, extra free food. I love this because it's like hacks. I feel yeah. like I'm cheating. Yes. Yes. cheating it's the absolutely. system, but it's not wrong. Shopping. You know I mean? No, these are all totally legit, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> oh, that is great. Where can people go, Mary, to find you online and everything you just shared? Yes, so I'm at missiontosave.com okay. and I'm all the social media as well at a mission to save. Fantastic so cool. tips this morning. I'm Thank going you. to Kohl's Love today. It. I got Kohl's cash that I got to <laughs> use. <laughs> right. I never know. Uh, well, coming up, Utah tech firm is using augmented reality to bring shopping to life. So what does that mean for you and your wallet? Well, we'll tell you after the break.
So, Phil, you were talking Swappers Day, yeah, right? Yeah, in Johnstown. I remember going to that a lot growing up. I love this. When you comment on our social media, but we love hearing from you somebody said it was Saturday, guys. Sunday. Yeah, so Barbara said, quote, Swappers Day is still going on today till 6, bro. There you go. It's Thank fantastic. You, I mean, if you, you know, a lot of people, if you're in central Ohio, you're in that area, you, yeah. you grow up going to it. So, good. We hear it's going on. Yes. Well, Thank speaking you. of shopping, let's head over to the online shopping world. It's not just a fad, but there are some drawbacks to only seeing pictures of the yeah. products, especially when it comes to pricey pieces like furniture. But a Utah tech company is looking to make that less of a concern. Mm, Jordan Hogan reports on how it's using augmented reality to bring shopping to life. When shopping online, there's always the risk that what you buy isn't what you had in mind. There's lots of really interesting things that are going on in that space right now. The company's CEO thinks they'll have that feature up and running in a year or two. That's how the whole world's going to go, man. I know. Unfortunately, I know because it's like all these stores going out yeah. in favor of online, but you know. And see, I don't. when it comes to furniture, I would yeah. never buy a couch online. But people like, do. I, I, I can't get I'm that. I'm surprised to, to hear you say that. I need you, to sit on it, and right. I need to, like, for furniture, I need to see it in person. You see oh, if the groove like is right. Yeah. You can get yourself in it. It feels comfortable. You need to watch TV. Yeah. Well, other big brands working with Seek are Amazon, Lego, and Volvo. So it's spreading. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So Labor Day and a long weekend means a lot of people are probably road tripping. Mm -hmm. But now a new gadget will instantly make a long car ride a lot more musical. You've probably seen the origins of this. James Corden, the host of The Late Late Show on CBS, <laughs> famous for his carpool karaoke segment. Now, you can have a similar experience to the stars who make guest appearances on his show in your own car with this sweet little microphone. So the mic works when you connect it with an FM station on the radio. Then using Bluetooth, you can stream music straight from your phone. This allows you to blast your favorite songs throughout the whole car. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the video of it? The mic is currently going for just under 60 bucks. Whoa! On Amazon. I would think you could just sing along with the radio. Exactly. So I went Save online to look bucks. at this. Yeah. So and the, the promotion <laughs> video are people like passing the mic. I'm like Who's gonna do that? <laughs> you just sing to the music and now they do say the microphone Ooh. adds like effects to your voice, right. but it's so funny to watch them pretend like it's the coolest thing right. by having like this microphone. No. I'm driving, I'm like, Phil, you sing. <laughs> now you sing. It reminds me, I used to have Mr. Microphone growing up. That was a big toy in like the 80s. Yep. Be like, hey, good looking, what you doing? We'll be back to pick you up later. That was the commercial that they did. Uh, mine was the Talk Boy from Home Alone 2. Uh, Remember the Talk Boy? Uh -uh. Credit card, you got it. Oh, it can make your voice Yeah, change? it would alter. It never worked like the movie though. It was cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a new roller coaster ride is hell bent on breaking records with a devil of a design and theme. Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey, is bringing roller coaster riders a ride that it pledges will be the tallest, fastest, and longest single rail ride coaster in the world. Jersey Devil will combine 3,000 feet of track with a 130 foot ascent an 87 degree drop, two inversions, 180 degree stall, and zero gravity roll. It's supposed to be in the park 2020. All right, I wrote all that down. Yeah. The ride will have four trains with 12 seats for passengers placed near the park's Great Lake with a name playing off of the Jersey Devil folklore of Jersey's Pine Barrens. This ride is sure to give a I'll thrill. tell you what. Oh, it's like it's single a file? It's a single. I'll tell you what, so uh, my favorite roller coaster, I love roller coasters, as does Mike McCarthy here. Yeah, oh, Everyone loves roller coasters. Are you going to say Space Mountain? Uh, Millennium Force. Oh, okay, that's so, not single file. No, we but talking, it's okay. so, what scares me and so fearful about that that I love at the same time is that like what holds it up is just one bar. Yeah. It, you feel so tiny <laughs> and like this thing can tip. It's not like a big wooden roller coaster that the frame just encapsulates right. you. Yeah. Where that, you're a single rider on the tallest. Right. That's going to be freaky. <laughs> you're going to be sitting there like looking over the edge both sides. You don't have your wife to hold your hand. <laughs> Is that who holds your hand, your wife holds Yeah, we, we oh, hold each other. So and we'll put our arms up together. Millennium Force is your favorite ride yeah. at Cedar Point? Um, Millennium Force, it's number two, well, Steel Vengeance. Okay, Steel Vengeance is clearly number one. You know why I like one. Millennium Force? Top Thrill Dragsters, maybe number one, Steel Vengeance, number two. No, I want to know. Why do you like... Because uh, Top Thrill Dragster, you wait in line for three hours. Well, Again, love true. Cedar Point. I know, I know. It's the true. ride is like nine seconds long. <laughs> right. Millennium Force is like five minutes. It is. It's I long. get the bang for the buck right there. You do. Yeah. But Steel Vengeance, Maverick, very underrated yeah. as well.
Yes. Oh, we got to move on. We're, we're getting roller coaster. Just world. FYI. So, have you been to the movies a lot this summer? Uh, no. Mm. Ticket sales are down. Oh, great. Now they're going to blame me. But <laughs> some studios still cashing in. Got your holiday weekend box office breakdown coming up. See, you put it on your phone there. So your I phone is one of the dirtiest things that you own. You know that. It's like dirtier than your toilet. But just I'll FYI. take that bet. I can find something dirtier <laughs> than my phone. <laughs> I'm just saying, you took a mint out. I yeah. always put it on the paper. You put it on your phone, which... That's a bad idea. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. If you're eating it. I don't care. Despite The Lion King dethroning its original animated <laughs> counterpart and Disney destroying the box office, the summer of 2019 actually had a decline in ticket sales. This is sales. so interesting. So according to the data firm Comscore, summer ticket sales are down 2% from last year. The only movie that cracked the top four summer movies that wasn't Disney-owned was Spider-Man Far From Home. Yes, it's in Marvel, but Sony Pictures owns it pulling in more than $370 million domestically. The studio racked in approximately $2.2 billion in the domestic summer box office, which is more than all of the major studios combined. So with the rise of online streaming the past couple of years, theater owners say that they welcome Disney's sure hits. I don't get that because like Endgame came out this year. Yeah. People were seeing that two, three times. Right, I think it's the number of people going is less. Yeah, I, I think kinda, people, you know, the older you get, the less you go. We've gone I less, especially you. with Chanel. Once you have a kid, you're like, you barely ever go. Yeah.